Hey Gemini, Everlong Mystic here. Today we're going to get a message from your spirit support team. And I'm going to use the Crow Tarot and the Dreams of Gaia Tarot gifted to me by two lovely, lovely subscribers. And we're going to get started here. So, for Gemini, spirit team, spirit support, spirit guides, what does Gemini need to know? your higher self so you have the three of pentacles here for your higher self and I just see this I just see this as making something very beautiful there's there's a lot of um, there's a lot of love emanating from these cherries oh. you see the cherries here it's like, yeah, I can almost feel the love coming out of these cherries. And, and it's, I, I like the fact that this, like, there's two cherries here, but there's one cherry here. It doesn't matter, like, if you're in a relationship with someone. It doesn't matter if you're single or whatever. Your, your higher self is always there, and your higher self is always, is always there helping you and loves you so much. Oh, I like this. Okay, Gemini. Angelic realm. What do your angels... Oh, so we have ten of wands here. Oh, this is so cool. Gemini, your, your angels, and this could be your guardian angel, an archangel that you work with, just the angelic realm in, in general here. They are... They're working hard here to relieve you of some major burden that you have. They are listening to you. They, they hear you, they know, they know that this is a burden and they are doing their best to lift, like, to carry some of the weight for you. This is so nice. All right, earth, earth spirits. Ooh, <laughs> very cool. So you have the magician here for the earth spirits. So, this is really cool. So, you are, I don't know if you're, you know, doing any kind of spells or whatever, but the earth spirits are here, they're here to support you. They, they are willing to offer their assistance to whatever you need. Like, if you are, you know, writing down your troubles and burning them and the earth spirits will help bring you know let it help let it go or they will they will help program your crystals or they were like they're they're here to help you in whatever whatever manner whatever manner that you that you like or that you're interested in or that works for you they it's like they're they're telling you hey we're magical and we can help you know you got a lot of support here you got your higher self loves you. Your angels are helping you with burdens. You've got earth spirits willing to do magic for you. All right, ancestors. So your ancestors here, we have the seven of swords. And I think Aries had this card, but it was in a different position. But this, this here, this, this card, what I'm getting from this card is, is the same with, with Aries. And it's, and it's, your, your ancestors are trying to tell you, Gemini, to not cut yourself short, to give yourself some credit. Like you, like you are very, you're very adept with these swords. You, you are better at dealing with swords in general then you give yourself credit for. I mean, you, I mean, you're Gemini. You, you're of the mind, you know. And you, your your ancestors are trying to like reinforce this that you, you are of the mind. You are very skilled. Your mental body has a lot of skill. Okay, future self. Ooh. Okay, so your future self has a message here for you, Gemini, that 
there is some kind of decision coming up for you that you may not be sure about. And it feels it feels like it has something to do with gosh, I don't like feeling like something is it's like feeling like something is not for you. You're going to it's it's almost like you're going to feel like something is not for you, but you still have to it's almost like both both decisions may not be for you and you don't know which one to pick. It's like kind of a lesser of two evils kind of thing. But your future self knows a lot more than what I just said. And we will be getting another card. Because I think the, the card that we get will help you in the future choose or deal with the choice kind of thing. Because it could very well turn out to be not even a choice at all. You know what I mean? Like a perceived, a perceived choice or a perceived choosing. Gemini bringing out, bringing out the, the mental mind tricks here. <laughs> All right, Gemini. Let's get a little deeper into these messages. Spirit team, spirit support for Gemini. self your lovey and dovey higher self oh okay so your lovey dovey higher self who loves you so much it has a message here to focus more focus a lot more on love than conflict like when you are when you are in a in a state where you're arguing with someone you're disagreeing with someone, you're, you know, angry, fighting, whatever, that remember, like, it's almost as if the, the things that, that cause, that give you anger, God, what am I trying to say here? There's things that come up for you sometimes, Gemini, that, that get you going, and <clears throat> your higher self wants you to remember during these times, almost before this happens, remember how much you are loved. As, as if like some of these conflicts arise from not feeling loved or something. It's, it's, it, is a, it is a warning about conflicts, but just know that your higher self loves you so much. All right. And next we have Angelic Realms, helping with the burdens. Oh, look at this dragon. Oh, this is the Abundance card. I love it. Gemini, you have the Abundance card here. It's like, it's like this dragon here is representing this, this big angel frequency that is kind of like in charge of your abundance. It's like that's their job. Their job, their job is to see you succeed. And and that's why they're helping you so much. They're helping you with your burdens because they want nothing more than to see you succeed in everything that you want. All right. Magical Earth Spirits, what do you have? I don't even know what this is. Oh, nine. Oh, okay. So this is nine of fire. This this is another love card. Wow. Okay. So if you are, wow, Gemini, if you're trying to manifest some love here, Earth spirits got you. They got your back. They're all for it. They are all for it. If you are trying to manifest some kind of love here. Talk to the earth spirits. They're like whipping out their tools. They're like, we're ready. We're ready. What do you want to do? <laughs> you 
you got your candles? You got your crystals? <laughs> That's so funny. All right, ancestors. Ooh, this is the one of fire. This is freaking creation. Whoa, this is intense. Look at this. This is, this is creation. Wow. So we, so Gemini, you're not, they don't, your ancestors, they don't want you to cut yourself short. They, they want you to remember how much prowess you have in the mental arena here. It's like your, your thoughts, your conclusions, your connections to, to, to everyone, your, your connections to everyone. It's like you, you have the power of creation. Like your words can create, you can create bonds. You can destroy bonds. You, you can, there, there's not enough words to describe the energy in this card here. There's not enough words. You might have enough words, Gemini, because apparently this is your superpower <laughs> and your ancestors want you to know it. All right, future self. Oh yes, oh yes, okay. So we have the, this is the eight of water here, but there, this is, this talks of emotional it does talk of emotional intelligence because we have all the chakras aligned here and it is a water card, but it's more, it's more about, it's more about these dolphins here. This is, this is joy. This is happiness. This is focusing on what you do have, not what you don't have. So that is the magical key here from your future self in regards to this future situation that you're going to find yourself in. The, you will be able to, to figure out whatever this decision is by focusing on what you do have, not what you don't have. And that to me, that is the, that is a very, very clear, clear message from your future self. And it is, it is ultimately to to help you make the right decision. All right, Gemini, <clears throat> I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll the dice here. <clears throat> and we're going to see what your holiday surprise is. Do you get another oracle card? Or do you get a whole new reading? Or is your reading over? Let's see. <gasps> Gemini, you get a whole new reading. OMG. All right, stay tuned. You're going to get a whole new reading. Woo you got the star. You get a whole new bonus reading and I'm going to I'm going to do a little spread that is the hidden treasure spread. So I will do a hidden treasure reading. All you have to do is is go to the description box, go all the way down to the bottom. You will see the word hidden treasure and a link and it is a link to an unlisted YouTube video where your hidden treasure message awaits. <laughs> 